Hello, this is Mr. Vanskoy. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at phylum chordata, class reptilia. The word reptile from the Latin repere, meaning to creep. We'll start with our classification. Again, reptilia are part of phylum chordata. There are four orders that we're going to take a look at with a focus on crocodilia, the sphenodontia. Um, we'll talk about a little bit squamata and testudinase. First up is order Crocodilia. Uh, this includes our American alligator, Nile crocodile, and other kind of related crocodile critters. Um, they have four sprawling legs that can be used to gallop. They replace their teeth throughout their life. They have strong jaws and a powerful bite. They have a more advanced brain and greater intelligence than other reptiles. And some of them also have a four-chambered heart, which makes them different than the other reptile orders. Order Sphen Sphenodontia, or Rhinocephalia, um, is the least specialized of all living reptiles. Their brain is very similar to the amphibian brain. They have a three-chambered heart, and in general, uh, more primitive than the heart of other reptiles. They are very lizard-like, but they are considered to be separate uh, reptiles. They have a uh, unique, one of the things that makes them unique is they have a photoreceptive kind of eye, using eye in quotes there, uh, kind of a sensor, light sensor, a third eye. And next we have order squamata. These are what we would probably call our lizard groups, or what you think of when you think of reptiles. Uh, this includes lizards and snakes. Lizards most have four legs for running or climbing, and some of them also swim. Many can change colors when threatened. They have a three-chambered heart. Snakes, of course, do not have legs, although they are evolved from a tetrapod answer, uh, ancestor. They have a very flexible jaw for swallowing large prey whole, and some of those snakes can also inject poison into their prey through fangs, and they have a three-chambered heart as well. Order Testudinase, uh, these are our turtles, turtles, tortoises, and terrapins. They have four legs for walking. They have a hard shell covering most of their body. They have a three-chambered heart. Um, here we see a tortoise. And over here we have one of the painter uh, varieties, kind of a common, one of the common turtles in Michigan. Here's a slide from, actually from my backyard, uh, same reptile, actually two pictures. Um, this is a wood turtle, okay, so a wood turtle from Hersey, Michigan. And these guys are a little more rare, in fact, can't remember their exact uh, endangered status, but they are, I believe, on that threatened or endangered list. So kind of um, flipped them over so you could see the plaster on, and then we have this kind of cool-looking carapace as well. Here's another one of my uh, backyard critters, um, actually just down the road about a quarter mile, again in Hersey, near the Muskegon River. Uh, this would be a snapping turtle. Um, this one, I, if I remember right, was about 18 or so inches on the top of his carapace. You do want to be careful with those guys. They can take off a finger if you're not careful. So reptiles. Uh, there are 8,200 living species of reptiles, and we had already mentioned those four orders. They are ectothermic. Ectothermic, meaning that they heat up, they get their heat from their surroundings. So heat from environment. Um, they are tetrapods. Tetra meaning four, kind of four-limbed or four-footed. They have a tough keratin uh, skin that's covered with scales, 
and they also have very efficient lungs for breathing air for land life, one of their adaptations for living on land. Most of them have a three-chambered heart and a relatively well-developed brain. There are some like the alligator that have that four-chambered heart. They breathe only through lungs, again, more efficient, more surface area for gas exchange. Something that I thought was kind of cool, they have to hold their breath when running. Uh, crocodiles and alligators, one of, something involved with their respiratory system is they have a large sheet of muscle below the lungs, something that you and I also have, a diaphragm. So they also have a diaphragm in their uh, chest cavity. Ectotherms, again, they get their heat from their environment. So they have a very slow metabolic rate. So they do things like basking to help regulate their, their heat. Um, and this also means that they cannot live in the extreme cold habitats. Okay? Although they can definitely live in cold habitats, but not the extreme ones. Uh, because of their ectothermy, reptiles can get by with as little as one-tenth, about 10% of the food that would be needed by similar-sized endothermic mammals. Some species of reptiles can even go several weeks between meals. Their limbs are located farther beneath uh, the body than most amphibians. Most amphibians have those limbs spread out even farther, although Many reptiles also have them spread out um, a bit from their body. Uh, reptile ecology, so just kind of a summary here. They can be terrestrial, land-based. They can live in freshwater or marine habitats. Most of them are carnivores, and large reptiles are often the top predators in their local ecosystems. Many species of reptiles, especially the marine ones, though, are at risk of extinction. Eggs are unique in that their eggs are surrounded by a protective shell and membrane. Um, I say unique, meaning that our previous um, classes and, and phylums have not had it, although moving forward we'll see, see that um, in other animal groups. Reptile, reptiles reproduce sexually and have internal fertilization. Again, they have what are called amniotic eggs. Uh, I'll talk more about amniotic eggs, eggs at a later date. Uh, they're relatively mature hatchlings. Their babies are very close to adulthood. They do not have to go through metamorphosis like many amphibians do. And the reptile parents provide little, if any, care to their young. Reptile evolution. Uh, the earliest am amniotes ap appeared about 350 million years ago, and the earliest reptiles evolved from a sora, uh, from a sora sauropsidia ancestor about 315 million years ago. Dinosaurs evolved around 225 million years ago and dominated uh, animal life on land and in the seas, much of the seas, until about 65 million years ago when most of them went extinct. I should say all of them, but um, many of their relatives did go on to survive. Uh, other reptiles survived, though. Um, the reptile relatives survived and evolved into classes of reptiles that exist today. Uh, so what exactly is a dinosaur? Dinosaurs were not lizards, okay? They were a in the reptile group, but lizards refers to something more specific. Um, they were not lizards, though, because they had an upright posture that's different than lizards. Dinosaurs can be described as large, powerful reptiles, uh, and many of them were quite big, but dinosaurs were more than that. There were a varied group of animals with over a thousand non-avian or non-bird-like different species. A couple documentaries of interest, uh, the Life Series. Um, has an episode on reptiles and amphibians that I think is is pretty interesting. And then um, I originally watched this one on Nova on PBS. Uh, 
fortunate to have the uh, Amazon Prime. You can watch this one for free if you have Amazon Prime. Lizard Kings, uh, Nova Volume 3, Episode 2. Also pretty interesting, all about lizards. So I hope that helps. If you have questions about reptiles, be sure to talk to me.